So here um, in the courses section, then uh, this is befriending your video camera. Yeah, Luis, you can uh, talk a little about the, the course if you want later. Uh, it's a course for people who are interested in recording um, yeah, their own videos. It's not a very techy course. I can uh, give some hints, but the main thing is uh, to prepare you so that you feel confident yeah, to record your own videos in any topics. Yeah, there, uh, there was a student who had a cosmetic company. Oops, <laughs> this is my cell phone. There, there was another um, person uh, who was an accountant. And uh, what we do in this course is that uh, I give yeah, a prompt, a time for preparation, and then uh, we, we are working on Zoom, but it's almost like we are recording the video. And then we have comments and uh, yeah, we discuss and uh, uh, depending on the number of people, we also adapted the course yeah, to your needs. I will invite, uh, Luis, if you want to say something. I, will. I found this to be a really valuable class um, in this time of everything going virtual. Uh, I had the need of making a couple of videos. And I realized once I got started with Ailey that um, I had been isolated and uh, was not really communicating very well. <laughs> with others, I could see it on the video. Uh, and so I, it really kind of changed my outlook a little bit um, because I could see that I needed to compose myself a little bit, although I may not look all that composed right now, but uh, that I needed to smile, uh, that I needed to make eye contact, that I shouldn't be reading off of a script, uh, that I should uh, put forth my intention and that's what I did. And I've done that a couple of times. I've really appreciated it. Yeah. Thank you for your, uh, yeah, your comments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but can you see any difference between, uh, uh, I don't know if you recorded before any other videos and uh, after the course, did you feel any difference? Definitely different. And uh, just from the first recordings that I that I made, I you know I would, could I was kind of appalled, really. You know, um, and, uh, it's made a huge difference. And I've also been on a lot of Zoom calls, so I've been conscious of how I was composed in the camera frame, and uh, for the most part, you know what I look like, and uh, it's it's been great. I think it's going to be really useful for the future, even though we're going to come out of this virus. Still, we've opened up new possibilities of being virtual, and there are all kinds of uses for it. Yeah. Well, um, Wilma, you, uh, thank you, Luis. I will mm -hmm. going to mute you again. Wilma, you, you haven't taken the course, but uh, uh, what do you think about uh, the use of video nowadays? Do you feel that it's increasing or do in your day by day, how, how is it for you? That I noticed right away my resistance to all the, you know, online just because it's so different than person to person. Mm -hmm. um, but then I realized in order to have any contact that it might have to be this kind of contact and that I got used to it. And I also then you know, chose to, I guess, embrace it in a way that I never expected from myself. <laughs> uh, and I've had, she had the opportunity to video, um, video record um, myself singing a song that's going to be engineered into, you know, a group, a group, uh, a chorus. So um, they gave us a sim similar tips as the one, the ones that you might, you picked up um louise you know framing yourself in the in the picture um in the lens um 
you know, what the background is makes a difference. Um, smiling makes a difference. Even just like what, how much of your head and chest and what kind of, a, yeah, what you're part of the composition. Um, so I'm, I, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm much better. Uh, I have a much better attitude about video than I did back in the beginning of the pandemic, I'll say. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, let me talk a little now about the the other courses. That, let's see. So this is a uh, befriending your video camera that will start uh, next Saturday or this Saturday, yeah, on the sixth. Here uh, you have two testimonials, yeah. If you want to. Um, watch it be, uh, later. Then there is this organize your artistic path. This is a workshop that is in five modules. And uh, I've been uh, um, teaching this course or workshop yeah, for a while. Most of the times in person yeah, before COVID. And uh, well, it's exactly, the modules are, the first one is confidence as an artist. Then it's where to show. Then is preparing for your next exhibition. Then is rejection and uh, cooperation and uh, um, collaboration. Yeah, I, I plan this course thinking that the first yeah the, by the the feedback that i get that uh, some people they are afraid of start showing so you have to build up your confidence then you say okay but now where am i going to show yeah what, what are the the best places that fit my yeah my artwork because there are a lot of places but sometimes you send to the wrong place and then you get rejected and uh, then you, yeah, you can uh, uh, feel a little demotivated. And I think that it's a question of targeting yeah, the right place. Then uh, once yeah, you get a yes, especially if it's a solo exhibition, some places they give you all the organizations, but some places they gave you the place and a letter. So you have to do everything yeah, from marketing, um, catering, preparing your artwork, everything. So I talk about uh, how to organize uh, everything in a way that you don't feel overwhelmed. Then the next uh, one, oh, it's about rejection because this is yeah, inevitable. You, uh, unless you uh, well unless your work is really 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 good and fits all tastes yeah it most uh, or most artists that i know they have some rejections and uh, yes yeah, sometimes they get accepted and uh, this is something that uh, it's almost like an actor yeah you have your auditions and uh, Sometimes you don't get the, the role, but it, it, it's not sometimes because of your talent or your performance, but it's just that it's not a good fit. So how can you uh, work with rejections in a way that uh, yeah, it won't demotivate you? And then cooperation and, and uh, collaboration, because I think that uh, uh, even if you say, oh, uh, that's very nice, or uh, yeah, I think that most of us grew up in a competition environment. So uh, how you uh, start to break this habit of uh, having this competition mindset and start to cooperate more with other artists. So uh, this will happen on Tuesdays, yeah, in the evening from seven to eight. The first module is on the ninth. And then this is a new course that is transitioning to online, yeah. If you, uh, you have any workshop that you used to do in person, how, uh, yeah, you adapt this to online, yeah, or, uh, well, anything that uh, you used to do in person and uh, yeah, it can be a one-time workshop, a video course, 
uh, a podcast, yeah, or oh, podcast will be, uh, what I mean is more an interview kind of meeting that you had, yeah, how do you transition to online? So this will happen on Thursdays, yeah, uh, 12 to one. I try to put in different uh, uh, weekdays and different times, yeah, to see which one uh, would be the best option. So uh, now I'm gonna stop sharing. And uh, uh, if you have any questions, I will. The way the course was organized, um, I thought was very conducive to bringing us out. Uh, so you might speak about that a little bit, that we had a um, chance to practice um, during the Zoom meeting, but then we also worked on a little assignment and we could easily record ourselves. You told us how to do that. And so we could practice. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. This, uh, I, the one thing is that I don't reveal the topics of uh, your befriend in your video camera, because this is part of the, the, the dynamics of the workshop is that you have a, a set amount of time, normally from four to five minutes to prepare what you want to say. And then uh, we record the same way that we are recording here on Zoom. Yeah, and uh, uh, imagine that it, it's my turn. So I look at the, the, yeah, the, in this case, in the laptop, I look at the camera and I start recording. Then the other participants, they will unmute themselves. And uh, depending on the exercise, they also yeah, turn off the video so that you have this feeling that you are just, yeah, you and the camera. And then after that, we um, talk about the experience. Yeah, the person uh, talk about how it was, if, yeah, the, how you felt, if it was uh, uh, too stressful, if you got nervous and why, yeah. And uh, then we also analyze the, the the, the video, yeah, the video that we just recorded. And uh, um, it, I will give you uh, my opinion, but the other uh, participants too, for two reasons, yeah. It's very interesting to have another uh, point of view. And also when you start to pay more attention to other people recording videos, you start to realize things that you do when you record your own videos. Yeah, I think that uh, sometimes I, I assign as homework that people choose some people that they like and watch them, yeah, or the language or the, the body language or, and I think that this is a good way to learn. And I remember Louise saying that uh, she started notice that it was kind of more agreeable when people smile, yeah? yeah. Even uh, it was, I think, that uh, near the election or that in the campaign, yeah, even the candidates that you feel, yeah, closer to the ones that smile more, so. And, I started watching news people too and how they came across and really got some, some pointers from watching them. Yeah. And here, I noticed that there was a confusion mask. <laughs> yeah, so uh, when I say smile, it's uh, smile from your heart, so to say. It's not this kind of force, like a, uh, you have to choose, yeah, depending on the subject, or if you don't feel like smile, please don't smile. <laughs> yeah, it's not a, a thing that you, are, you should do or that you have to do, yeah. But, uh, uh, when you can, I think that is, is how can I say, it uh, makes the communication easier. So I think that uh, this is a, a good resource that you can use, yeah, if you remember, because I know that sometimes when you are nervous, yeah, you don't remember to smile. And in this case, you can even put a post-it or something, yeah, just to remind you. And, uh, uh, I think that uh, you can, uh, and this is also, you can do a test, you can record the same content, yeah, with and without smiling and see the difference, yeah. Uh, 
uh, what else? Uh, we have a Facebook group, yeah. And uh, I assigned this uh, uh, homeworks and then people record their own videos and post them. And then it's the same thing. It, it's a good exercise to, to watch and criticize. Criticize not in a hard way. Yeah? Just write your comments. Yeah, put your opinion about the other people's videos and uh also yeah it's your exercise to to record upload and uh, uh leave your video in in a safe environment because you are not publishing to everybody to see it's just for that group so i think that this also gives you some some kind of um how can I say you are vulnerable for the group, but not yeah, you're not going to publish somewhere and then someone that you don't know and uh, yeah, never heard about your work and start uh, yeah, writing uh, nasty things. So I think that uh, it's a safe environment too. Yes. I think that it's it. Do you remember anything else that we used to do? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I remember that safe environment uh, because that was really important at the time. I was feeling very much like a novice when I started. Oh yeah, and uh, um, and this is one thing. Like uh, uh, in the beginning, I think that everybody is uh, yeah. Uh, uh, depending on the, the there are people that they feel very comfortable because you are talking to a machine. There are people that say it's so weird. I'm talking to a machine. Yeah, so it takes time or. If you never heard your voice recorded or your face, some people get close to the, the camera and then they start paying attention, say, oh, I have my wrinkles, oh, my hair is, yeah, this or that, or, yeah. <laughs> but uh, what I hear uh, from uh, people's feedback is that, and in some researchers yeah, also say that, uh, one of the most important things are the audio yeah uh, like if your image is not totally okay but they can uh, uh, listen to you and understand your message this is an uh, uh, it might be more important than have a very beautiful produced video but the audio is bad or you say in a way that is unclear yeah so I'm just going to ask the question um, if you can notice background noise in my audio right now. Is no. Right? Okay, are, good. Are you wearing a, a headphone? No, I'm in my car with my um, my phone about eight inches from my face, roof. you know, uh, the moon roof tilted up. There's, I hear the wind up there a little bit. Oh. But um, if you don't, that's a good thing. Then I'm, I'm, I'm testing my uh, my my systems <laughs> okay. and and i'm aware that you know other people's background noise can be really annoying and um yeah like just talking on my phone when i'm outdoors and it's breezy I, on my speaker phone um people notice that yeah and so I'm, I'm aware of that now and just you know i i try to do it different times well, I don't know here. Sometimes I just hear a little noise, but uh, I don't know exactly what it is. It might be the wind or something. It might be. Yeah. Yep. Do you hear something, Luis? Yeah, there's just a little echo to the voice. Um, it, it doesn't maybe sound like Wilma's in a room. It sounds right. like she's she's in a chamber somewhere. Mm. I mean, I'm in a, it's a, it's a yeah. car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 